Hey guys, what is up? Otaku Mike here. I got an anime haul for you. Let's get into this. Turn it up, throw down your motherfucking door. Uh. Alright guys, so if you're new to the channel, I'm Otaku Mike. Subscribe down below if you enjoy my content. As for that, Let's get into this. We haven't had an anime haul, I think, since January, if I remember correctly. I'm not for sure. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while since I've done one of these anime hauls. So, let's get right to it. I got a lot of anime to show you guys. A lot of really cool stuff. And it's just, it's just going to be all around a fun time. Alright, so first we have a little sci-fi series. Let me get it. I believe this is the second release of the series. I can't remember. I'm not 100% sure, sure of what it is or what exactly is. But I picked it all up for $5. Um, we have Kitty Grade Volume 1. This has Discs 1 and Disc 2 in it. So technically this is technically Volumes 1 and 2 together. Then we have volumes, or file 2, uh, with case 3 and case 4 in it. That's DVDs 4. Then we have number 3. Then we have number 4. If you're looking for a cool little sci-fi series with some girls in it who kick a bunch of ass, go check this show out. It's, it's fun. It's fun for its time. The animation may or may not hold up. It is, I think it is an early DigiPaint show. I know it's sort of an early Funimation release, kind of, a little bit. Um, it is done by Gonzo. I remember it not being that bad, but I could totally be wrong, because my nostalgia could just fuck with my head. You know? But, it's cool to have Kitty Grade in my collection once again. I used to have it before. Got rid of it a couple years ago, and I was like, I want to watch it again. You know, I guess I could have watched it on the Funimation Network, but I, I just didn't. Anyways, cool to have this. Alright, so next we have the Silent Mobius Collection Volume 1. Then we have Volume 2. And Volume 3 to round it out. This is the complete series... Before they did the box set, or the, the complete collection set, this is pretty cool. It's about sci-fi cops. If I remember correctly, they fight demons. I can't remember, but I remember it being a cool series. Go check it out if you're interested. Next, we have another sci-fi mecha series. Um, this one I got for $5 altogether. Um, it's an older series. You can get newer versions of this series, but I couldn't pass up an awesome deal. You know, um, the mecha battles aren't the greatest in this because they are CG mechs, and it's an early CG mech, so it's not the greatest. But the story is actually pretty fun and pretty entertaining. It's about uh, men and women. They never, they're like at war with each other, and they have to team up to fight this alien race. It's pretty crazy. And their mechs have to merge and stuff. But we have Vandred Volume 1. Volume 2. I love these shiny covers. Volume 3. And we have, if I can get it out, Volume 4. So Vandred Season 1 right here. And we can't have season one without season two. That's right. We have Vandred the Second Stage, Volume One, Volume Two. Ooh, look at that shiny cover. Volume Three. Oh yeah. And Volume Four to end our Vandred. Um, collection so far. There is an OVA that came out with the newer Funimation release of it, but 
I can't pass up Van Dread for five bucks a season. Come on. Such a good deal. I might have to get that other collection to get the OVA later on. But, got more Van Dread. All right, so next we have, I got these from the Right Stuff sale recently. They were five bucks a piece. Pretty good deals. Um, I got all the rest of the stuff I got came from Riot Stuff except from, for two things. And that is I got From the New World Volume 1 or Collection 1. And then I have Collection 2 of From the New World. I don't know what this series is about. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um, but I can't wait to check it out. I hear it's pretty freaking good. So there's that. Alright, so next we have a pretty cool series. It's not complete. I still have to look for one more DVD set. And then I have it all. But I, I, I downgraded from these from the collector's editions because the collector's editions were so big. Um, and they took up room and I sold them for a really good price. Which, it was, it was pretty good. Even though you can find the collector's editions anywhere. Like, they're not hard to find. But I got, um, for really cheap, I got Pat Labor the Movie 1 and Pat Labor the Movie 2. I have owned these previously. These are the original Bandai releases. These aren't the Sentai film work made in Japan releases. But that's what these are. Um, maybe one day I'll get the, the collector's editions again. I don't know. I kind of like just having the DVDs because they take up so less room uh, than the big bulky boxes. But yeah, we got Pat Labor 1 and 2. Which, if you don't know what Pat Labor is, it's about um, it's a sci-fi pseudo grounded in reality where it's about cops who fight with robots. It's pretty cool. It's like a, a mecha cop procedural show. If you haven't heard of it, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. You can check it out, I believe, on High Dive, if I remember correctly. I don't remember off the top of my head, so please let me know down in the comments if you know for sure. But we have next, we have um, WX, is it III? Or, I don't know, but it's Pat Labor, the movie 3. A lot of people don't really like this movie. I haven't seen it, so I don't know if it's good or not. People say it's like the lesser of the Pat Labor movies. But I will have to definitely check it out and give you a review on it later on. So we get to the last part of the anime haul. It's a good one. Uh, so as I said before, I don't have the OVA collection for this. It was not on sale or it wasn't available through Right Stuff. But I got all these for a pretty good price. Um, this first one I got for $12.99. It was a little more expensive than the other parts of this. But we got Pat Labor Collection number one. This actually has the new dub, a new dub on it, which is pretty cool. I think it has a new, it's supposed to have a new dub if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look later. But this covers. Episodes 1 through 12. Then we have Collection 2, which covers episodes thir 13 to 24. Um, then we have Collection 3 for the Pat Labor, the TV series. This is 25 through 36. Then we have Pat Labor collection 5 which rounds out the original TV series with episodes 37 through 47 pretty cool to have all of Pat Labor the TV series because this used to be out of print for such a long time like such a long time it used to be out of print and it was really expensive to get on the um, resale market but it's pretty cool to have all of this for such low price because number two three and four were all two bucks a piece two dollars a piece that's amazing uh this movie was also two bucks 
I could have got the special edition for like 25 cents, but I didn't. Then next we have the new files, Pat Labor Mobile Police. This is the sequel series to the Pat Labor TV show. Um, it didn't run for as long as Pat Labor itself. I hear mixed things about it, but I will give it a shot and check it out. It only has 16 episodes, so it's not that long. If you're wondering, what's the order of Pat Labor? We'll check it out right here. You have the order of Pat Labor, timeline-wise. Pretty cool, so you don't get mixed up. Anyways, that is my anime haul for this month. I'm Otaku Mike. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you have watched or you're interested in watching any of these shows. Let me know. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. S subscribe over here or down here. Um, like, comment. Let's talk about some good old anime. Peace out, guys.